should be the portion coverage plan is the next part. So uh, if you look at the last uh, three, four years, five years CAT, the block two, three of my book, which is basically arithmetic, has been the most critical part of uh, the CAT paper. And uh, in the 34 mark paper, 34 question paper on the three hour paper, one, one hour section, QA section, you had between 12 to 16 questions on block two, three every year. So it's close to 40 percent, 35, 40 percent of the questions. Uh, and that's significant because if you score 35, 40 percent uh, score, you will get a 92, 93 percentile uh, by itself. So this itself, uh, only these chapters will take you to 90 plus percentile if you can solve every question of this. So, so this is the first and most important area. And typically you have to make sure that in each of these chapters, the bottom line is around 200 questions. When you talk about covering this, of course, you have to study the theory of, of each of the chapters. You have to know the basic uh, language uh, structures of each of these chapters. But apart from that, one of the aspects that you also need to understand is that coverage involves two things. One is the assisted problem solving and the other is the self problem solving. So assisted problem solving when you are studying from somewhere, you are either doing it on a YouTube channel or you are doing it in some course, you are, you are attending the course at Mindworks and doing it there. So that the teachers teach you that's an assisted problem solving uh, process where you get a question through uh, because you are assisted by someone. But then there is a second part of it which is self problem solving. So the numbers I am giving you here are essentially self problem solving numbers. So average is a 200 question chapter, allegation is a 100 150 question chapter. Percentage is a 200 question chapter, ratio proportion is a 200 question chapter, interest is a 150 question chapter, profit loss is a 150 question chapter, time is work is 150, TSD is around 300 to 400 questions. So this is uh, the number of questions that you need to be able to solve on your own in QA uh, in these chapters. So I'll just go through and give you the number of uh, questions on each of these chapters in this video and in a subsequent video, follow up video. Maybe tomorrow day after I'll talk to you about how do you convert a chapter from being a poor uh, uh, solver of that chapter to a good solver. So number systems is a 400 to 500 question chapter. And thumb rule again, when we talk about these number of questions, the thumb rule has to be about, uh, uh, when, when you're talking about how much time it should take, you have to take uh, solve in a five month context preparation, six month context of preparation. This has to be a number of questions covered per week in quants. So uh, while while doing the DINLR work, so you can match, you can you can then uh, match. Okay, okay, maybe a chapter like allegation I should finish in three days, then a chapter like averages maybe five days, etc. You you decide your pace whether you want 200 or 250. That's my suggested this thing. Progressions is a 200 question chapter. On my book, I already three number system progressions, average, ratio proportion. We have chapter to cover. Geometry is a 400 question chapter. Mensuration is 200, 250. Coordinate geometry, if you even if you self solve only only 50 questions, that's enough. Do the theory and self solve 50 questions on that topic. Uh, functions and uh, functions is around 300 400, it's a big chapter. This may be LOD3 Karnava, apart from LOD1 and 2. Uh, equations is again something where you have to do LOD3. This is a 250 question chapter. Logs is a 100 question chapter. And inequalities is, is 150 to 200 question chapter. Of course, this is outside your test taking. So your test taking questions etc will get added to these questions. So obviously there is a back end to what you are doing from this point and that will be the insurance part of what you uh, what will ensure that you get to the requisite uh, skill levels. Combination combination is a 200 question chapter, probability is a 150 question chapter and set theory is a 100 to 150 question chapter. Although set theory ka tumko DIK perspective se bhi parna padega DIK. So thank you so much and I will be back tomorrow. Bye-bye for now. Thank you so much.